Hello again. We've received several inquiries recently about the basics of Easy Image. Questions like, how do I scan a stamp and get it into Easy Stamp or SRS or Easy Grader? Another common question is, how do I clean up an image in Easy Image? I'll show you these things here today. Even if you're an advanced user, it's a good refresher. Today I will be using the latest versions of Easy Stamp. SRS, which is stamp recognition software, Easy Image, and the newly released Easy Grader version 3 uh, for today's video. So let's first go over how you do your first scan. So right now we're looking at Easy Stamp. I'll just put that in the background for a second. So the first thing you need to do when you start Easy Image is to select your scanner. So you go to File, Select Scanner, and then choose the scanner that you have. We have several, but I'll be using the Canon one today and then you simply go back to file begin image scan and then start the scan now if you look at this preview of the scan I'm about to do um, easy image fired up our uh, the scanner software if you look there's a really nice shiny black background and then this kind of grayish one which is um, basically a piece of black cardboard that I placed around the stamps just for today's uh, demonstration to show you how to clean things up. Normally I would just leave the black plastic that's back there which produces excellent uh, results. We have a post on our website about how to make amazing scans and how to put this piece of black plastic. So for now you would just click scan and then uh, easy image would load that image into your uh, uh, screen which is what I have here so if you look carefully this is really not a black background it's kind of a grayish speckled uh, and it that really doesn't present itself uh, well especially if you're displaying images so one of the things I'm going to show you today is how to prepare these images for use in easy stamp and other applications and how to clean them up uh, properly Let's first show you how to separate the images into individual images using the auto separate function which is uh, only in the pro version of easy image. So to do that we go to the tools menu and click on separate selections automatic and it comes up with a default which is normally set to 40 and then what you can do is click on preview to kind of show you how it's going to attempt to separate these images. Now it looks pretty good but I can see here in this particular stamp with a heavy cancel in the corner it's going to cut into that design which is really not what we want. So we need to turn that tolerance down and this is something that you're going to have to kind of experiment with especially with cancelled stamps. There's no one setting that works better than another it just really depends on the stamps that you place so you just turn the tolerance down again and click on preview and now you can see that it's not going to cut into that design so if we click on begin it's going to tell us how many images it's going to separate and it's found six and then we click separate and it gave us six beautiful images now the nice thing about the auto separate it also cleans up the background for you see how it's a really nice clean black background but for now I'm going to close these and we're going to do things manually to show you how to use some of the other tools in the program okay so let's first crop out this US stamp here so as you can see this background is really not black it's kind of a speckled gray white not not the most pleasing background what I usually will do is uh, clean up the background but before I actually show you this again I'm going to show you how I actually did this crop because I know sometimes uh, people don't realize what's happening here so the first thing you need to do is click on this icon here the selection icon and then you move your cursor over to your image and you draw a, an area around the stamp that you want to crop out and then you just let go so now you have these dashed lines they're called marching ants so with that there you hold down the shift key and then click on this icon up here and when you hover over it you'll see it says crop so hold down the shift key click on the crop and it takes just that image out 
Now we're going to use this icon here called the magic wand. And now we're going to click on the background that we want to kind of manipulate. Now the tolerance I've set here is 22, but normally the default is 40. So let's do it again. And it still looks pretty good. Now, when, when you've got these marching ants around there, all you need to do is hit the delete key and it will crop out that background to whatever you have in this swatch here. If I swap, 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 swap them with this uh, purplish blue here and click on it again, it's going to put a blue background, which is not what I want. So I'll do that again. Okay, so now we have a nice, uh, nice background on, on our image. All we need to do is now crop it a little tighter. I don't really kind of. I like my images to be nice and centered. And then I hold down the shift key and click on, um, or, or just click on the crop because this one I don't want to separate it out. And now I have a nice image ready for me to do whatever I want with. Now to put it into the clipboard, this is pretty standard Windows behavior. You hold down the control key and uh, hit the letter A for all. And notice what it's done is it's selected the entire image in this little window here. And now we do a control C, which places it into the Windows clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to Easy Stamp. And I'm going to bring up Scott number 65, which is what this stamp is. Now I want to add my stamp into this particular uh, uh, inventory record. This is the supplied image. I wish I had a nice mint copy like that, but I don't. So to add my image, I right click on the image pane. And this brings up this window here. Here's the supplied image. Now you can put your image here and then it'll over, uh, override this image, which is not what I want to do. I want to put it in a separate image. And that's I selected image number two. You're allowed up to five images per stamp in Easy, uh, in Easy Stamp. Now I'm going to paste it from the Windows clipboard. And then you name your image. You should always name your images with the word my, and then an underscore, and then whatever you want. That way you will never overwrite our images and then just click Save. So now we have the supplied image and my image. This is a well, probably a fine used copy and we're done. That stamp has now been inventoried. Okay, let's switch back to Easy, uh, easy Image again. Now let's say I want to, uh, what am I doing here? I'm going to close that. Let's say I want to inventory this particular stamp. So I'm going to crop it again. Again, the way to do that is you click on the selection tool. You drag an area around the stamp. Let go. Hold down the shift key and click on the crop icon. And now you have your image. You then click on the magic wand. Clean the background with the black that I have. My tolerance is set to 40. You can change that depending on what it is. For mint stamps, that will work perfectly. And then just hit the delete key on your keyboard and you now have a perfectly clean black background. Again, I like to crop them a little tighter. And click the crop again and now we have it. To put this into the clipboard, Control A puts all the marching ants and selects everything. Control C to copy it to the Windows clipboard. I'm going to now switch to Easy Stamp. I'm going to open up Argentina. And now I'm going to start SRS. You can do it through the Extras menu and click Automatic Mode. Now I'm going to paste it from the clipboard by clicking up here where this icon is. And now I'm going to do uh, a search for the stamp. I can see that this is a 30 peso stamp. So I just type in 30P and click Start Search. Found it right away. If you right click on it and say you want to add it to your inventory, click Yes, Close, and then Easy Stamp will bring it right up. This is a Mint Never Hinged, uh, probably a very fine, and I've inventoried my stamp. Now if I wanted to grade this stamp, I can also use Easy Grader, 
and this is the new version which was just released recently so I'm going to click on paste from clipboard it's going to load the image and grade it so that was a VG 47 if you look at the very top of this stamp it's much much bigger than the bottom of the stamp okay so that's how easy it is to put images uh, into the clipboard using easy image let's do one more so let's take this U stamp again the way I did that is I, I click on the selection tool click on an area around the stamp that I want to crop let go hold down the shift key and click on the crop icon so now I want to clean up this background if I click on the magic wand the tolerance is now set to 40 if I click here see what happens it digs into the stamp which is not what we want to undo those magic and uh, magic uh, sorry the marching ants you just right click anywhere on the image and it unsets them because if you look carefully you can see that this this cancel is very very similar to the background of the scan and that's why it crops it the easiest thing to do is to just turn that tolerance down so on the magic one I'm going to turn this down to I don't know 19 let's give that a try and click on the magic wand and there you can see again it's now not going to cut into the design I hit the delete key on my keyboard and right click to set it and we have a nice clean image I can also de-skew it now to kind of square it so if I click de-skew it now squares the stamp for me I'm now going to crop it because I like to have nice centered images click on crop now I can control A to put it to select it control C to put it into the clipboard I'm going to switch back to easy stamp start uh, SRS paste it and now I'm going to tell it it's 100p start the search and it found three very similar designs it looks like it will be this darker orange one I'm going to right click on it click on add to easy stamp and you're already set to go this was a mint never hinge very fine click on the check mark and we're done let's do one more so this time I'm gonna select one of these Canadian stamps again I drag an area around the stamp I hold down the shift key and click the crop icon and then I'll use the magic wand let's put it up to 40 and see how it does and it did pretty good the cancel isn't really that bad hit the delete key and we have a nice clean cancel there and now we're going to de-skew it so it's nice and square and then we'll crop an area and put that into uh, the clipboard so control A to select everything control C to put it into the clipboard I'm now going to switch to easy stamp and I'm going to open up Canada and we'll do a search for that particular stamp and this is a seven center and it found the official we're just going to turn this down a bit and try the uh, youth search and there we go so we found this guy right here now let's do one more we'll put this one in here with a slightly heavier cancel and I'm going to clean the background again this one is pretty good cancels really aren't interfering too much and then I'm going to crop it a little bit so I, I select an area I crop it control A put it in to select everything control C to copy it to the clipboard and then I'm going to run SRS again 
I'm going to click on the paste from clipboard and we'll do the seven cents and start the search and there it is right there I believe we're going to add it and now I'm going to actually use my image so I right click in this area I'm going to select image 2 paste from the clipboard and then give it a name always name your images with the word my and save it and this was a used very fine and there we go now again I'm going to show you how the auto separate works to again remind you that it does a pretty good job of cleaning up the backgrounds so actually before I do that I'll show you how easy grader would grade this stamp as well let's do that so I'm going to clean that background I'm going to control A control C start up easy grader I'm going to paste it in from the clipboard and let easy grader do its thing that came out as a very fine 78 okay so let's do one more auto separate and then we'll we'll finish here so we'll go to tools separate selections automatic uh, we've already turned decided that the tolerance of 20 is going to work best here click begin and then separate and as you can see these images are nice and clean each one has a really nice clean black background ready for you to do whatever you want and if we wanted to use these to go into uh, easy stamp or, or easy or SRS or uh, easy grader we would just do that okay we hope this has been uh, useful for you let us know if you have any other questions bye for now